Hey there, welcome to day 13 of our Get Up and Go Challenge. Sharon Horton Elfin here, and today we're talking about, I've got to grab it here, my soap. We're talking about the A in our soap framework. A in our soap framework with respect to our physical well-being. Guess what? I found my my backwards written board finally, and I was so excited because I'm like, how could I have lost it? I, I didn't understand how I could have lost it. And it fell down by my chair and was hidden behind a tablecloth, so I couldn't find it. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial, relationships, contribution, communication, and confidence are the ones I'm adding for 2021. And we're working on physical. Pick physical. I picked physical. I didn't get enough. I didn't really look at the input to see what we got for areas. But physical, to me, if our, it's like confidence and communication. If we improve that, it improves every other area and aspect of our life. If our physical well-being, we can we can cheat on how we take care of ourselves for a while. Depending on us and our makeup and our genetic makeup, we can not take really good care of ourselves for short periods of time. We can go without sleep if we're working on a big project. We can go without eating if we're working and busy or if we're doing an activity that we love and we don't have time to stop and eat. But for the most part, our physical well-being, if we don't take care of ourselves, of this body, we're not going to have anything because our health it, nothing will shut you down faster than a health challenge or a health scare. And I have gotten plenty of lessons in that department throughout my lifetime. So yesterday we talked about and brainstormed as the O in our SOAP framework options. What else is possible? What could be possible if we just open up our mind and our imagination? We came up with our list of 10 and we shared three. And I actually picked four. Uh, mine were... Uh, daily exercise, daily activity, and I circled outdoors, but then I thought, well, it's rained for a week here. Maybe I better think about outdoors or indoors. I picked online education or online research, supplements, and then hydration, water. Now, I put that on. Once we just make this whole list of options, now is the time in the A, the action stage of the SOAP framework, now is the time we want to analyze and look at those different possible actions and decide what are we going to really work on. So action is all about deciding and doing, deciding and doing, picking something and immediately taking action toward it. So how do we decide among those alternatives? If you made a list of a hundred, this, you don't, you want to pick like maybe 10 things to analyze. You don't want to spend a ton of time analyzing anything and getting analysis paralysis when we really want to just be action oriented. We want to do the thing that's going to start moving us in the direction we want to go as quickly as possible. So uh, a lot of times I'll start the challenge and I'll share the easiest decision making tool that I've got in my toolbox and I use automatically all the time. But I'm going to save that one for our next round through the SOAP framework for another area and aspect of our life. Today, I want to teach you a grid or a framework that I use, and it can be as simple as I drew it here. It is, I call it the Urgent, Important, Resources, and Effort uh, grid. And I don't remember who I learned this from. I know I used to know Urgent and Important. I learned that from somebody. Then somebody else added resources. Then somebody, I think it was Jim Edwards, my friend Jim Edwards, added effort. Uh, means how much energy is it going to take for you to do this? How much effort do you have to put forth right now to make this thing happen? And there's another one, too, that I do, uh, another dimensional, but it doesn't really apply to this. We want to keep things simple so that we actually do them and get them done. So I like to just list my three things. What do I want? My physical desire right now, the thing that I want, where I am is I don't have enough energy. I'm falling asleep and napping when I'm hanging out with my granddaughter. She naps, I nap. I don't want to do that. I've got to use that time wisely. So uh, I want to increase my energy. I want to get so that I have energy to do all the things that I want to do when I want to do them. Well, how am I going to get there? How am I going to do that? I brainstormed the options yesterday, and I only wrote down um, 11, but I've, I've got a whole, actually I have a whole notebook full of things to, to physically help my well-being. So then I'm going to write in the, the left-hand column, one, two, and three, and I just put supplements, uh, I need my magnifying glass. Uh, online research, and then I put outdoor exercise, and I put indoor in the parentheses, because when the weather's bad, I have to do indoor exercise. So I'm just going to ask myself and, and grade these on a scale of I can do whatever I want. I can do 1 to 10, or I can do on a scale of the number of, of options I have. Like the one that is the most urgent, I would give a 3 to. Uh, the one that's the least urgent, I would give or if it's urgent at all, I could give it a three, two, one and rank them, or I can just give it on a scale of one to 10, urgent. Is it not urgent at all? I don't have to do it ever, it would be a one, or it's urgent, it's necessary, I need to do it right now, I'd give it a 10. 
And so we're just going to rate and give these a, num a numerical value for how urgent is it that I take a supplement? Well, I take supplements every day, so is it urgent? I, probably. I don't know. I haven't stopped. I haven't not taken them for a very long time. Uh, is it important for my health? It's proven to be very important. I've used myself as a science experiment and played with different uh, supplements all the time. I haven't done one for energy, so maybe an energy one wouldn't mix well with my other supplements. I don't know. What resources do I have? Do I know what kind of a supplement I'd want to take for my energy? You know, back in my corporate days, I and I don't think it was my corporate days. I think it was my uh, business days, though. I would drink energy drinks, and I lived on diet soda and coffee. Now, I haven't had a diet soda since August of 2010, or any pop for that matter, and I don't plan on, on uh, taking it up again. And then, but I'm going to ask myself for for supplements: Is it urgent? Is it important? Is do I have the resources? And you know, do I do I even know what to take? And then, how much effort and energy is it going to take me to actually do take action in that area? I'm going to ask myself that for each of my three options. I'm going to come up with what is the best option I want to take action on right now. And once I decide that, let's say it's uh, well, let's say it's online research because there's no excuse to not do online research right now. We can do that on our phone. We can do it on a computer. We can. We can do it anywhere we can get access to the internet. So let's say I pick online research is the most urgent, important. Uh, I've got the resources to do that. I've got access to the internet and energy or effort. All I have to do is like say, hey, Google on my phone, and I can ask it a question. Or Alexa, if you have Alexa in your house. Hey, Alexa, da-da-da. I have Alexa, but she's been discontinued since I moved into this house. Uh, and then all we're going to do is we're going to share in the comments below one thing that we're committed to doing today. We're going to decide on something and we're going to do it. So I'm going to decide right now, I'm going to do online research to find out, actually I'm going to combine a couple, what supplement, what energy supplement would be good for me given my other health conditions and my other personal desires and needs and objectives, right? So that's it. That's all we have to do today. So we want to take action. The A in our SOAP framework is all about action. So we've got our story, our situation. We know where we are and where we want to be. Our O was to look at all the different possibilities and options of how we can get from where we are to where we want to be. Our A is about deciding on something and taking action. Decide and do. Decide and do. Don't make this a huge production. This is probably way overkill for 99.95% .95 of the decisions we need to make in our life. But for those bigger decisions, I want you to have a tool that you can use to break down and really be more subjective about what is the right action to take. Bottom line, do the thing that feels right to you right now. What is the thing that makes the most sense to me? I don't need U, I, R, and E to tell me that I can do online research right now. I can do uh, and look for an online resource and look for something that tells me what is a great energy supplement that would work with my condition to improve my physical level of energy. All right, that's it. That is our challenge for today. Get up, go do this. It's simple, it's easy. Make a decision, take an action, share in the comments below the action you're gonna take. If you need any help or have any questions, hit me up in the comments below or direct message me, Sharon Horn Elstrom, and I will get to you right away. Take care, have an awesome day, and I'll see you tomorrow.